welcome back to Kids Church Online. It's time for another really cool lesson on Moses, but before we start, I thought we could play another guessing game. You guys were so good at the guessing game last week when you guessed the umbrella. So this time I have made it really, really tricky. You'll need to put your thinking caps on really, really tight. Super tight. You all ready? Okay, here is clue number one. This is a person with a very important job. Think carefully and I'll tell you clue number two. This person keeps people in the community safe. Does anyone think they know it yet? Mm, not yet. What about clue number three? This person wears a uniform and drives a big truck that has a hose and a siren. Can you all guess who it is? A firefighter. Well done. You guys are so clever. Now, do you reckon you could guess another one? This one's even harder. Okay, here we go. Clue number one. These people love us and take care of us. Does anyone know? Clue number two. These people give really, really good hugs. Getting warmer. Clue number three. These people live in our house. Can anyone guess who it is? That's your right. It's your mum and your dad. Well done, everyone. Do you think it's important for us to listen and obey when a firefighter tells us to do something? Yes, of course. They're there to keep us safe. Do you think it's important for us to listen and obey when our mum and dad tell us to do something? Yes, our parents love us and want what's best for us. But there's someone else we need to listen and to obey. He is very, very special and he loves us very much. He is the one who made us and we learn him about him at Kids Church each week. Can you guess who it is? It's God, you're right. Today we're learning to listen and obey God. It was an important lesson for Moses and it's important for us too. Before we hear that cool story though, let's put our thinking caps on really, really tight again and we're gonna see what's in our buckets. Hi Ellie, what are you doing? Hey Sienna, it's bucket time. <gasps> do you wanna help me choose what's in the bucket? Of course, I would love to. All right, what color do you think it might be in this week? I'm guessing it's going to be in the red bucket. Okay, do you wanna have a look, let's drum roll? Yeah. Aw, it's not in the red bucket. Oh no, I, I didn't know that. What about the next one? Which color do you think next? Maybe the green bucket. All right, I'll have a look for you. You wanna okay. give me a drum roll? What a surprise. It's not in the green bucket either. <gasps> All right, next color, what do you think? I think the yellow bucket, shall I see? Yeah, have a look, okay. Oh, it's not in the yellow bucket either. Oh, that's so sad. It, it must be in one of the other buckets. What color's left, Sienna? Well, there's only the orange bucket left, so it has to be in the orange bucket. Definitely. Right? Okay, do you want to look in the orange bucket? All right, I'll have a look. Okay. It's not in the orange bucket either. No. What do you think happened, Sienna? Did you, did you take it somewhere? It wasn't me, I promise. Did you lose our bucket price? <gasps> no. You sure? Don't say that, I didn't. There's just no, where, where is it? Okay, Sienna, I can't, I can't keep this quiet any longer. I hid it somewhere else. <gasps> no, yeah. where would you, can you see where it is? Well, we're looking for some fire this week, Sienna. Can you see fire anywhere? Can you see fire anywhere, boys and girls? <gasps> is it the fire in the fireplace? Yes. <gasps> no. <Look>. It's <gasps> not real. Oh, wow. Boys and girls, we're gonna find out what the fire has to do with our story this week. And Sienna, thank you for playing along with my trick. Oh, that's okay, it's fun. <laughs> See you soon. Bye. See ya. Last week, we learned about a baby named Moses. He was in danger, but his mum had a plan. Do you remember where she put her baby? That's right. She put him in a basket and placed him in the river. Do you also remember the Pharaoh who ruled over Egypt? He treated God's people, the Israelites, badly and made them slaves. But God had not forgotten about his people. He had a plan to rescue them. In today's story, baby Moses is all grown up and he's not living in Egypt anymore. The Bible tells us that Moses ran away and went to live in a place called Midian but God needed him for his very special rescue missions. So one day, while Moses was working as a shepherd, he saw something strange. It was a bush and it was on fire, but it wasn't burning up. God used the burning bush to talk to Moses. God had an important job for Moses to do. He said, go back to Egypt and rescue my people from being slaves. 
But Moses was afraid. He didn't want to go back. He didn't want to listen and obey. So God is something amazing. He told Moses to throw his staff on the ground. When he did, it turned into a big snake. God then told Moses to reach down and grab the snake. Moses obeyed and the snake turned back into the staff. God said to Moses, I will use signs like this to show Pharaoh that you have been sent by me. Moses then obeyed God and went back to Egypt with his brother Aaron to speak to God's people. Do you ever feel like that? Maybe your mum or dad has asked you to pick up your toys, but you don't want to. That was how Moses felt, so he tried to make excuses so God wouldn't send him. But it's always best to listen and obey because our mums and dads love us and know what is best for us. And so does God. God promised to be with Moses and to help him with his big job. Moses didn't have to do it alone. God was with him and he is with us too. Let's pray and ask God to help us listen and obey this week. Dear God, thank you that you love us and that you know what is best for us. Please help us to listen and obey. We want to do what is right, even if it is hard. In your name we pray, Amen. Make sure you all tune in next week because we will find out what happened to Moses when he went back to Egypt. See you all soon.